Spiritual empowerment. Somebody said the importance of spiritual empowerment. Kila moja sema umwimu wakutiwa nguvu kiroho. Sema umwimu wakutiwa nguvu kiroho. The importance of spiritual empowerment. 2022. Somebody here, you will be an embodiment. Of spiritual empowerment your amen means some prayers your amen means revival your amen is not in the amen can somebody shout amen so my assignment tonight by God's grace is to reveal to us the mystery and the power behind spiritual empowerment and why this empowerment is paramount Kwanini, this empowerment is important every believer you got you have to covet a desire to be spiritually empowered as long as you are on this earth lazima utamani kujazo nguvu ya kiroho otherwise life will not really respond the way you would expect you got to desire lazima utamani kujazo nguvu ya kiroho now let's read the book of Micah chapter 3 and verses 8. We just read part A and then we're going to turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. And Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The Bible says, but truly I am full of power by the spirit of the Lord. Can somebody shout that? Let's read. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. I am full of power. Somebody say, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. Now, Apostle Micah or Prophet Micah, I require to acknowledge that he is not just ordinary. He is not, he is not just, a, 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 just, just an ordinary man. Kuna kitu kimiongezewa juu yake kinaitwa spiritual power. Now Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, let's read this one also. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20, the Bible says, "Now unto him cap, capital H that is talking of the Lord God. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works within us can we read together everybody now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that does what that is at work within us How many, how many here were wana, yani wana imagine, sema ta imagine, ku imagine. Eh? Nikiwa muyang kule village, many years ago, kuna wimba tu kwa tu na imbi na sema ta imagine, ta imagine, ta imagine, ko to hashemani. Yani ni wimba ya kingereza, ni naweka kitharaka hapo, unamarizia na kona to hashemani. Now listen to this, ambia mwaza kwa ta imagine. Imagine mwa, eh, ta imagine. Barabara ni za dhaabu. Mirango ni adhabu. Miwani kama hii ni adhabu. Uko bigundi. Si, si hii ni yelo hii. <laughs> Kila kitu ni adhabu. Now, ambia mwaza kwa ta imagine. Now, imagine now, tomorrow, ujipate, uki, ukiishi hile maisha umekuu na imagine. Is that ordinary? Everybody who atanza kusema, listen, listen, imagine wa muke kesho. Ujipate ukiishi maisha yale uliku na imagine. You see, kuimagine na kufikiria ni tofauti. Unazo kafikiria vini utalipa ndeni. Lakini kuimagine. 
imagine and i'm telling you ukweli ni kwamba many people very low percentage ya watu ambao we enjoy what they did or they, they used to imagine almost like 0.00001 imagine pasaki yeah they imagine imagine now what you imagine <laughs> like every time this man can, let me tell you one of his imagination every time he's with me i can like a flat like uh, 12 stories, 7 stories. Semanga one day. Nitainua ma flats. Ambia bwe sako ta imagine. Yani si nyumba tu ya kurara na kuamuka kesho na mbu unalipa maji nini. Ma gorofa. Ta imagine. Sasa mungu anatuambia ya kwamba kuna power mba inaweza kukusababisha kuenjoy paka kilu na imanji. That is not ordinary power. It is called spiritual power. Imagine somebody walking on water. On water. Not, 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 not crystallized water. Amba imafanyika highs. Seme ni tembea juwe hile mawa kabula isinki. Apana ni maji tu. H2O tu ikiwa tu pire. Maji, maji. But our Savior walked on. Why? Alikuwa na spiritual power. Of a city. So now listen to this. Mungu anatuonyesha kwamba. Kama wapendwa. Kama wa Kristo. Ataki tu operate normally. Or casually or ordinary. Anataka tuwe watu ambao. Wako empowered spiritually. Because. When we are just operating naturally, we are limited. We are terribly limited. And as I lay a foundation, today we are doing a part two. On Sunday, we'll be doing, on Friday night or Sunday, we'll be doing a part two and, uh, and all that. So today we're just going to do part one. Now let me say this. God's perfect will for each and every one of us ni operate under spiritual power. God did not create you and I to operate as ordinary people. The man God created at the garden of Eden by the name Hedam and the woman Eve. These folks were not meant to operate as ordinary people. Walikuwa wanoparate under supernatural power. And that is why the moment they fell, walipotenda dhambi, wakanguka, what left them is not the common human knowledge, the five senses. No. Walipaki wakiwa wanadamu wakawaita, mafikra ya kawaita, kufanya kazi kikawaita and that is why mali walikuwa wanafanya kazi kwa uraisi mandiki nasema they began toiling sema kutuo mungu waku kuumba utuo he created you to work when you are toiling you are not guaranteed of results wakatu na toil you are not guaranteed of even a payback that's why kuna watu hii mwezi yote wamefanya kazi. Na February na ingia on Tuesday next week. Tare moji itakuwa February na bando wajaripua. Na hata match itafika kama wajaripua. That is 12. This year may you begin working. Amen. May you begin working. Amen. May you begin working. Maneno kama sikuizi ni kungangana. Itatoka kwa akiri yako. Utaacha uta kungangana. Uanza kufanya kazi. Somebody shout yes. yes. Everybody lift up your and say I will not dwell. 2022. I deliver you from the spirit of toiling. In the name of Jesus, you will work effectively. Whatever you touch, 
you will enjoy results lift up your desire mungu baba yangu niachanisha na roho ya kungangana nipe roho ya kufanya kazi sema haleluya when you are struggling you are not sure even whether you will get anything by the end of the day lakini ukiwa mtu wa kawaida struggling is inevitable ama ukiwa mtu wa kawaida utafanya mambo ya kawaida lakini kama you want to step into the realm of uh, extraordinary works extraordinary achievements extraordinary breakthroughs you need something in it of spiritual power do you know why the spiritual power is what controls the physical the physical is controlled by the spiritual let me tell you whether you bend or must bend anybody any man or woman operating na spiritual power will subdue ama takuwa juu ya mwenye na operate na kasho na ordinary power Where, now listen whether ni power ya mungu ama ni ya shetani ama ni ya waganga as long as that person is operating under spiritual power na wewe tu kwa mtu ordinary amwezi mkashindana somebody says spiritual that is what that's why mwakau tamani to be empowered tamani to be spiritually energized kushakapa because it is by so doing you will be at a position to command breakthroughs that are beyond human comprehension the spiritual controls the physical the supernatural is what controls the natural for instance sai mtu apiti hapa tu kama mefly who around you hapa nyota mtamuo hapa do you know why amevunja sheria za natural wewe how can you fly Eh? How can you fly? And that is why when somebody mtu akianza kufanya kazi in an extraordinary way the first thing shetani ni mkora sana anataka na watu waanze kuona si Mungu ni shetani. Yaani anataka watu wa connect hiyo na power ya shetani na illuminati. It is like we serve a god who can don't do big things. Ambia mwenzako Mungu wangu mwaka huu lazima ataonekana. Ah! Hey! Moses lands in Egypt sema akaland. Akaland Misri. Maandiko nasema akafanya miujiza pale. Akaangusha kijiti kikafanyika nyoka. Farao akaona vile akasema okay okay umeleta supernatural akaita wachawi wake waganga wakakuja wako mevaa leso wabangi suruali waganga wakuja wamevaa leso ba wakatokea hapa you see you see in our village kulikuwa na the most powerful witch doctor in the, in, in africa yeah. every, every senior government man leader those years nilikuwa nasikia asha afika hapo in our village sina ni venya wakipita wakuwa natuwekea rami kwa barabara lakini sasa hiyo mganga mimi ni sio hii muona kwa mevaa tiraosa nafunga leso na ni mwanaume huko ndani hakuna kitu <laughs> you see why kazi uchawi za ingine nataka uwe uchi so hakuna haja ukaa kutoa na rusha now listen to this <laughs> now listen to this <laughs> nataka uambie mwenzako hii mwaka you are story will change you are story will change now listen every time what we kiona kitu kimetendeka in a dimension that it is not ordinary 
they want to say this is the devil he illuminate we without knowing we are the people that should show the world the real power this is your tuna fa kuonyesha ulimwangu that we carry the mighty god so this is what happened this is what happened in the day of king pharaoh moses akan grand palace akangusha kijiti kikafanyika nyoka Nae Pharaoh akaita wake kuje ni kuakakuja bila nguo. Pa! Now within a short time kila mwaka akatoka na kanyoka kake. I want to see that. It's only in the Bible we see God that is superior and mightier than the devil. But in the physical nowadays kuna kitu kiliingia kikaharibu. Wa Kristo wenyewe Ukiendesha gari kubwa ndio wataona hii ni manjini. Ukiwa na baiskeri hii ni Mungu. Ambia mwenzako nini kuliharibika wapi? Yeah. Ukifungiwa nyumba maana kuna renti ya kulipa. Huyo ndana ameokoka sana. Anaombanga sana. Ukijenga ngorova 15 within one year. Hey, dava worshipa. Now what am um, kuliharibikia wapi? Hii mwaka lazima hii kitendawili kiteuliwe. Kitendawili tega rarua. <laughs> I want to see this. Now Pharaoh aka land pale akafanya miunjiza. Na Moses of course already kwa menua is powerful snake and the bible says instantly the snake of moses swarmed all king pharaoh's serpents akawalamba wote wachawi wakalan leso wakatamani hiyo power that you know when i posted this post at a conference apostle loshi and akasema hata waganga wanatamani the blessing is on is in the book of acts muganga the only the power peter no parate nayo akatamani kuinunua may even the hidden covet your power this year naomba ta watu wa dunia watatamani nguvu za mungu hey i pray the name of jesus that in 2022 the glory of god will be coveted even by the world when they see what is happening in world harvest chuka when they see what happening in your family na kuambia mwaka huu watatamani mungu wako are you not saying amen to that Shout up prolonging me watatamani Mungu wako watatamani Yesu wako watatamani wokovu wako say yeah but something went wrong so today ni wa Kristo tunasiliki tunaivia kwa dunia tunarudi bandara iwe wanatamani our god yes what kasema in matthew 5:16 this verse it, every time let this verse never leave your your head and your mouth akasema in the same way just go back to that verse that was there in the same way somebody say in the same way in the same way let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your father in heaven may your light sema nuru yangu sema mwangaza wangu mwaka huu utangara mbele za watu na watatazama watasema mungu wake huo ndio mungu tunaabundu huo mungu wa hiyo kanisa the god of that church and the god we desire and i pray the name of jesus hey, this god will be our portion Majeshias wa farao wakastuka Siku ingine another day same another day Moses akafanya muujiza sema mtumishi wa Mungu sema mtumishi wa Mungu sema Mungu alia hai sema the true god sema Mungu wa kweli sema Mungu wa kweli akatena muujiza maandiko nasema wachawi wote wa Misri waka 
Pigwa na mbowels. Sema mbowels. Sema maote. Hey. Sema. Hey. Kamu kona kiote inaitango in James and disease. May God deliver you. How many know my boils? Yani kitu kina vimba tu. Kina uma. Kina uma. Kina anza kuwa rendu kwa mundomo. Kina uma. Ukifinya kina tua pass. Inaitango kiote. Kishido eh. I'm telling you, before I know this, many years ago in the village, I was not to But when I gave my life to Jesus, ha, ha, that was the last time, that was around 1998, the last time I saw Kyote. How many years today? 20 years, 22 or so, 24, something. Now, what shall we walk up? What is it? Boils. Manduki nasema, please locate it the, the book of Exodus. And zika mea mpaka kwa private part walianza kutembea hivi. Manduki nasema, wakafika mahali, wakasema, tumesarenda. Wakasema, this is the finger of the Lord. Sasa kile siku za leo, wakristo kanisani, wanachomoka, wanaingia kwa muranga, wanakuja Sunday morning. Wakiwa very holy. In the Bible, the world or the these witch doctors, what go on a shanga in power in a can of Nagan. Now, my point is here these people were doing all this Moses and the Egyptian magicians, what go on operating at the power of the spirit. Some of the power of the spirit. Now imagine now listen now please wave your hand to wave your hand. Na take of fikiria now Musa amenda misiri na nguvu ya kawaida. Ambaye huwezi kufanya hata tu dipi kitu iwe hata nithi. Just think about how embarrassed angekuwa. Embarrassed. Embarrassment. Angebishwa open and that's what is happening nowadays because the church has lost power. The glory of God has been sidelined. Side, the Holy Spirit. Now, you rarely hear people even talk about the Holy Spirit in churches. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. Whereas yes, when I'm here, when I Musi toke Jerusalem. Najua mumesoma. Najua Dr. Luke it was a physician, academically sharp. Lakini in his power, something beyond the natural. Because we are living in a very crafty world. So yes, when I want to talk in Jerusalem, come at this power, I just activated upon you. Otherwise, you will be embarrassed. The word used, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem. Not to depart from Jerusalem. He commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. Before they are endued with the power. Verse 8. And he said, you shall receive power when the spirit is come upon you. So the enemy knows very well. Ganisa ikiwa na power. Wa Christo wakiwa watu wako empowered. The enemy is in trouble. And my prayer to the Almighty is that 2022, in the name of Jesus, we will not be ordinary believers. We will not be ordinary church members. May the Holy Ghost come upon us. May the anointing come upon us. May the fire of the Holy Ghost be ignited upon us. Everybody lift up your say, whole oh, power. Somebody say, whole oh, Holy Spirit. Say, my whole oh, Holy Spirit. Let your power be activated upon my life in the name of Jesus. And that is why Apostle Paul, when writing to the church of Ephesians, and I'm be a canister of my face, and to the Almighty God, and to Him that is able to do exceedingly. 
abundantly above all that you can imagine or think according to the power that you work within you there is power upon you there is power that it can cause you to sign Nasema kuna nguvu inawezi kafanya uinuke kwa hiyo familia yenu kuna nguvu inawezi kakufanya to be the best setter in your village there is an anointing that it can cause you to be the best setter of your city it is called the power of the holy spirit somebody shout the power of the holy spirit and i declare as you hear this word may this power descend upon you descend upon your house descend upon your children support the sharia there is power in the blood of jesus and i declare anything devouring your body by the same anointing zakapakata negative negative i declare the anointing the power of the holy ghost over you are ah, receive your breakthrough no devil can harass you no magic can bring you down even covid 29 cannot prevail over you i declare that this anointing the power of the holy ghost is over you the anointing is over you somebody said the power of the holy spirit is activated upon my life i declare at the this anointing no witchcraft no sorcery will prevail against your life somebody show you fire somebody show you yeah. i release the anointing of the holy ghost anything troubling you by this power forget your hundreds forget your name anything troubling you by this anointing it has left you permanently somebody say power i declare 2022 you will not be ordinary 2022 you will not be ordinary 2022 you will ah Mwaka huu hata ukisikia kwenda hospitali kuangaliwa everything will be excellent Now let me tell you that the world tunaishi inahitaji watu ambao wako spiritually empowered Yeah because we are living in a very corrupt world Yesu akasema wana wa watu wa dunia ni waerebo but saingine ba kuliko wana wa ufalme they don't want to do things casually. Wanataka kuwa na, na power. David as a son of God. Alishu kwa itunia. Lakini hili manifest this glory. And this power. Na weze kushinda. Na kuwin. Tulisoma hapa jioni. Psalm 6, 63 verse 1. David anasema hivi. Asubui mapema. Are where I seek you. Oh God. You are my God. Honestly, please give us King James Version or NIV. It's talking of Ari, Ari, Ari. Talking of even rising up Ari in the morning. Yes, yeah, it is there. Oh God, you are my God. Ari will I seek you. So, Bandarani, where you? Nasema thee. My soul thirst. Thirst in a quad thirst. Hey, what do I say? What did you tell me? Wapi. Na manga university. <laughs> My soul thirst for you. My flesh longs for you. In and dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Then verse 2. Kwa nina na jitesa hivi. Anasema. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary. To see. You, to see what? Your power. And your glory. Nikienda vitani. Naona your power. Naona your glory. 
Nikishema ni na Goliath Naona your power Naona your glory Hey, wakikuja kunimaliza Ninashundia your power Naona your glory Mwaka huu na kuombea Ukienda kwa biashara yako Naomba utashundia The power and the glory Of Yahweh Hey, ukienda wherever you go Utashundia the power And the glory I prophesy to you 2022 Wherever you go Utaona the power And the glory Kuna mtu hapa Utapewa promotion Mwaka huwa Utashundia the power And the glory Ukienda kufanya biashara Utashundia the power And the glory of God Ukienda kwanza kanisa Ama kasi ya unduma Utashundia the power And the glory Ukitaka kuchumbia muke Ama mungu weba Utaona the power And the glory Somebody shout the glory Shout the glory I pray for you This year In the name of Jesus You will see two things The power And the glory Hey In your marriage You will see two things The power And the glory Of the Lord In your relationship You will see The power And the glory Of the Lord What are the best you can We will see The power Power and the glory of Jesus in our lives, hey, in our services, we will see the power and the glory of the Lord in the forthcoming conference to Tashundia, the power and the glory. Somebody shout the glory! Shout the glory! Shout the glory! Ah, ni na ungeresha manda undi apa, na ungeresha manda undi apa, na mande bora. Mwaka wa 2022, utaona the power and the glory in all your endeavors, in all your projects, in all your financial plans, in all your investments. I am praying you will see the power and the glory. Somebody rise up on your feet and say, my father, my God, I want to see your power and your glory in my house, in my relationship, the power and the glory. Hey, somebody open up your mouth. Don't get it. I can say, my buona, neta kutavuta mapema, moya wangu akuta mani, napsi yangu ya kuonea kimu. Kwa sababu gani, nataka kuona your power, nataka kuona your power and your glory. Oh, my father, I pray for everybody here. May we witness your power and your glory namba kila moja inua sauti yako pray the holy ghost may you see the power and the glory of god my daughter 2022 may you witness the power and the glory of jesus may you see the power and the glory of god may you see the power and the glory of god the power and the glory of god over your expectations hoy my father let the glory and the power be realized the name of jesus makata kata kata katu the power and your glory somebody pray in the holy ghost 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 Lika baka taskata, leke peke taskata baba, reke peke taskata, raka baka taskatuza, reke praruza tele baka duska, leke peke tazika ba, raka baka taskata, raka baka tazaka, raka baka tazaka, 
Reke peke tuskata Reke pakura bakaduska Reke peke duza Reke pakata sata La pakata sata lava Reke peke tesia lava Replaru sata lava gata Reke panda lava gata sata Oh God Ninaomba mwaka u Wacha kanisa Tuka shundie Glory yako Tuka shundie Pawa yako Kama kanisa Jesus Tuna kuomba tuzaitie Tuka shundie Your glory and your power 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 In all our expectations Oh God your glory and your power Kila moja inua sauti yako May you see the glory of the Lord In all your dead devils Kwa jia zako zote Kwa mipango yako yote May you see your glory And your power Reke pakata shkada Everybody lifting up your hands to heaven In the mighty name of the risen Christ I stand on this holy altar and I decree 2022 yes. where you have been seeing sorrow yes. you will see the glory of God Amen. where you have been seeing rejection yes. you will see the glory of God Amen. where you have been seeing frustrations yes. Mwakau utaona the glory of God Amen. as you lift up those hands now yes. may you see the glory of God Amen. may you see the glory of God Amen. In your plants, yes. in your health, yes. in your body, yes. in your plants, yes. in your expectations, yes. in your ways, yes. I prophesy yes. you will see the glory. Nasema utaona utukufu wabwana, utaona utukufu wabwana, ukija kanisani, utaona utukufu wabwana kanisani. Ukirudi kwa nyumba yako yes. Utaona the glory of God Amen. Ukienda kwa kazi yes. Utaona the glory of God Amen. Ukienda sokoni yes. Utaona the glory of God Amen. Whatever you touch yes. You will see the glory of God Hallelujah. Receive that anointing right Amen. now Kapakatuska tuska Oh yes Lord Lendushka pakanuska daya hey. The glory of God the glory of I send the anointing here. Yes. Everybody here. 2022. Yes. It is not a year of regrets. Yes, sir. You remember it is the year of divine appointments. Yes, sir. You will have special dates with Jesus. Amen. Now say my special date. Amen. You will experience yes. the glory, the cabot, the Amen. doxa. No more inkaboard. No more inkaboard. How the same the glory has departed. You will say the glory has come. The glory has come. It kushara bagata yada. Kuna watu kada hapa mekuwa na tamani kutenda mema. Umekuna tamani kutenda mema Mbaku unaona watu wanaumia Wanateseka Ata kanisani unatamani kutenda mema Lakini ujakua na uwezo I mwaka na kuwambea By the anointing Asema buwana wa manjeshi Mungu anakuwa anakuweza Anatakuwezesha Anakupatia power The enabling power That what has been in your mind You will practicalize Eta Zakura Prarasata Receive that anointing Amen. The glory of God The glory of God The glory of God David desired And he saw it Alitamani na kayona Akayona kwa maisha yake Akienda vitani anayona Akirudi kwa ekaru anahona utukufu wa buwana Anahona ngubu za buwana Akipambara na ngolayati Anahona utukufu na ngubu za buwana Akienda, akienda kanisani Anasema nilifraia walipo niambia tuende Tukanisani, why? Akienda church, anahona the glory I declare You are coming to this church Will not be ordinary Amen Sunday or every midweek service or any other day just to fulfill your religious custom. Yes, no. Sir. Every 
time you come Amen. you will experience the glory of God Amen. somebody lift up your hands and, and show the glory glory that's what we have sung Psalm chapter 3 verse 3 for thou O Lord art my shield you are my glory and the one that lifts me up I prophesy this year you will see God protect you. Amen. God deliver you from the enemy. Amen. God becoming a shield Amen. and becoming your glory yes. and also becoming your lifter. Amen. Ah, anybody here with whatever you're expecting, yes. you will enjoy divine lifting. Amen. 2022, yes. you are here of divine lifting. Yes. The lifter of my head my glory my shield talking of protection security the glory the cupboard I pray hmm. somebody you have been fryer. what is happening in your body Afia yako imekuwa dread and you're wondering whether you will live long. I stand on this altar under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I decree the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. This is the year. Mm. You went and they told you are positive or you have this disease positive. Mm -hmm. Maybe COVID, maybe Luma, whatever name it is. I stand and declare this is a here. The results will be negative. The name of Jesus. 